Now, before we get into any more detailed AutoCAD electrical stuff, what we're going to do is look at basic project workflow. When you're working with AutoCAD Electrical, you have to follow a certain flow, a certain methodology to make sure that everything works. So what we're going to do is look at how we work with a basic project, link the drawing to the project, and then add some basic components into the drawing. I've got a basic project set up here in the project manager right now. I'm not going to go into how you set up the project settings. We'll look at that later on in the course. But what we're going to do, we're going to link our current drawing to that basic project first. The drawing title is JIC Basic Project Workflow. JIC is the American Imperial Standard. The reason I'm using JIC is because I'm going to be using the JIC symbol library for the components on the drawing. So the basic project is current there. I right click on it and I go add active drawing. Yes, I do apply the project default values. So as you can see, that's added now to the project. Now, what we need to start thinking about is placing some components on the drawing. Before we do that, you'll notice we're on the layer wires. That's because I'm going to add a wire ladder to this drawing before I add any components. So if I click on the down arrow there, you'll notice because I'm using just a default AutoCAD electrical template, it's loaded up all these layers for me already. So I've got wires there. That's going to be my current layer. I then go to the schematic tab on the ribbon and I'm going into insert wires and wire numbers. Now I can just add a wire or a multiple bus or wire numbers or source arrows. The best thing to start with if you've got a lot of wires to add is to come up here, insert ladder like so. You then get your width and spacing of your rungs on your ladder. So there's your ladder there. So there's your rungs going horizontally across. Now the spacing between rungs is three quarters of an inch there. I'm going to make that one inch. The width is fine. 4.5 should be fine. In fact, let's round that up so it's a whole number. Let's make it five. Nice and easy then. Now the length is going to be between top and bottom of the ladder, or you can just specify a number of rungs. I'm going to ask for 10. My first reference will be 001, and the index will be one by one. It's a one phase circuit, and I'm going to say yes to both bus and rungs in this case. When I OK that now, the dynamic input prompts me to start the position of the first rung. So I'm just going to click there. And there's my 10 rungs on my ladder. They're all on the layer wires, which is that red layer, as you can see there. And if I zoom in now, you can see that it's put the nice little points that link the wires to the bus, and it's ready for me to go. So I go back to schematic, and I'm now going over here to insert components. And there, icon menu, and just select the icon menu like so. Now, it's defaulting to JIC schematic symbols there, and I've got push buttons, relays, contacts, and so on. I'm going to go for relays, contacts, and there's latching relay coils, or if I click on relay contacts themselves, you can see there's standard relays, standard coils with pins, and so on. I'm just going to go for a default relay coil like that, and there it is there. The nice thing about this is I can just place it on one of the rungs of the ladder and I can just click. Now you'll notice snap and grid have come on when I want to place this. Can you see that on the drafting settings? Snap and grid are there. I'm actually going to switch those off because it makes it a little jerky and I've already got some rungs and a ladder set up anyway. But if I didn't and I wanted to place these at certain spacings, you might utilize snap and grid your drafting settings to make your life easier. I'm just going to go for the midpoint snap. And there's my relay coil going in. I've got a component tag of CR001. I can give it a description if I want to. So I might put there just relay coil, maybe. Again, you might put something in a bit more detailed when I click on OK now. Or you'll notice I've got OK repeat. If I OK repeat that, I can now go and place another one. So you can see there, there's my relay coil gone in. There's my description in blue. If I come down here and do the next one down and click, puts another relay coil in, this time updating it to CR002. If I do OK repeat again, drop another one on on the midpoint, and so on and so forth. I'll click OK this time, and there's my three relay coils on my ladder. The nice thing about this, it's parametric. It cuts the wires for me. Look, I've got one wire there, I've got one wire there. These are just lines. If I want to place a wire between there and there, if I go there, look, it gives me a nearest point. If I come down here and go to, say, there, 
it automatically finds the path for me. I'll just hit escape to cancel that now. That's what I love about this wire command. Look, it tidies it up so that the drawing is neat. It doesn't just put a line through the text and the circles that form the relay coils there. It actually puts the wire around those and avoids those entities on the drawing. So if I do that again and do another wire and go from nearest here down to here like that, again, it places the wire nice and neatly. That's what I love about AutoCAD Electrical is if you don't know about these things, you won't use them. You'll just draw a line and that doesn't look professional. AutoCAD Electrical has all these tools in this project workflow that you can use. So as you build up your project and build up your components on the drawing, things like wiring and icons and symbols, it's all built into the AutoCAD Electrical to make you more professional, more efficient.